My name's Rowan McKenzie. I'm the founder of Shakespeare and Bard and artistic director of the Gallowfield Players and Emergency Shakespeare. You're possibly wondering what I'm here to talk about and really is Shakespeare for you? Um, yeah, is the honest answer. So I'm really here just to encourage you to use Shakespeare to find your own voice. The Speaking Festival at the English Speaking Union is a great opportunity for, for everyone to get involved. It's completely free. You can choose your own work that you want to do. You can either talk about a topic that's close to your heart. You can have a debate with someone or you can choose some Shakespeare. Go for it. Choose some Shakespeare. It's amazing. Um, so, but isn't Shakespeare just for certain people? Isn't it something that's taught in schools and it's a little bit dull at times? No, absolutely not. Those theatre companies I spoke to you about, they're actually based in prisons. So myself and a number of serving inmates work together. We collaboratively and collectively own those theatre companies. We choose plays, we edit them, we bring them up to date. We make them as relevant for today as they ever were. And it's amazing to watch. So in, in the last three years, I've been fortunate enough to be involved with these amazing people and to see some great actors come forward. It's given them a voice where maybe their voice has never been heard before. Um, we've worked on Macbeth, we've worked on Julius Caesar, uh, worked on Merry Wives of Windsor. We've most recently performed an adaptation of The Merchant of Venice, where instead of Shylock being shunned for his religion, Shylock's shunned by society because he's a life sentence prisoner. And even when he comes out, he carries that burden with him. His relationship with his daughter is damaged because of the time that he spent inside. Um, and it was really powerful to watch that happen. Um, the actor who actually worked with me on, on the script, who's our, our main script writer, talked about the fact that it was a, a love letter to his children because he's really conscious of how it affects his children, the fact that he's inside at the moment. So Shakespeare is such a powerful way forward. So give it a go. Read some Shakespeare. Find a piece that talks to you. Find a piece that really resonates inside. Then do some work on it. You know, Give it a few goes. Have a bit of a practice. Then perform it and then upload it. What more is there to do? So the piece I'd like to share with you is actually from The Merchant of Venice. Um, we adapted this slightly when we performed it, but I'm going to go back to Shakespeare's original text. It's in Act 4, Scene 1. So Portia has come in to try and stop Shylock from claiming his pound of flesh. Um, and she's dressed as a, a lawyer and she's acting the part because in those days women were not allowed to take such, such a ma major roles. Um, so she's talking about the quality of mercy and I think it tells us all something that's really relevant today. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. It blesseth him that give and him that takes. Tis mightiest in the mightiest. It becomes the throned monarch better than his crown. His scepter shows the force of temporal power, the attribute to awe and majesty, wherein does sit the dread and fear of kings. But mercy is above this sceptred sway. It is enthroned in the heart of kings, an attribute to God himself, and earthly power doth then show like his gods, when mercy seasons justice. Therefore, Jew, though justice be thy plea, consider this, that in the course of justice, none of us should see salvation. We do pray for mercy, and that same prayer doth teach us all to render the deeds of mercy. I have spoke thus much to mitigate the justice of thy plea, which if thou follow, this strict court of Venice must needs give sentence against the merchant there. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing what you get to, to pull forward from Shakespeare yourself.